Here. Director Owen, Director Aizen mm -hmm. Gonzalez, and Director yeah. Lanier. Here. All right, thank you very much. We have a quorum. We do have a quorum. That is noted. So we can proceed as the board of directors. Um, so uh, we'll move on to item number two, which is oral communications. Is there anybody here from the public who would like to uh, address us during this time? Seeing none, we can move on to any consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions or deletions. Are there any of those? Seeing none, we can move on to the consent agenda, which consists of items four, five, six, and seven. Um, item four is to approve the minutes of our last regular meeting of April 22nd. Uh, number five is to uh, approve the minutes of our uh, special meeting of May 10th, which was to uh, approve our contract with the county and the city. Item six is to accept the finance committee um, uh, recommendation to accept the uh, April 2019 financial reports. And item seven is to do the same for the May financial reports. Um, do we have any um, discussion on the consent agenda? I have a question on uh -huh. the consent agenda. Yes, for Lundin. April 22nd, um, number 10, summaries from board retreat subcommittees. It says, uh, Chair Mezaraz reported that the first equipment lease, period. Oh. And yeah. reported on the first equipment lease? I would think that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, or else we have to make it long and describe the whole lease and everything. Something, else. yeah. yeah. I think it was just something that reported we on it. We didn't complete it or, or, yeah. or finalized it. We reported, we reported yeah. on it, yeah. Okay. I missed so that So we need so to add the word on. I, I think replace um, that with on. Replace that with on. Okay. Thank you for catching that. Yeah. That was my only question. Oh, excellent. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I see that. Um, and were there any other questions, comments? Uh, would our finance committee like to, uh, the chair like to comment on the No, I mean, finances? we've we've been doing, we're still ahead financially, as you'll see in the minutes. Uh, the last two months uh, are been a little slow, but I got a note in Becca's report, we leased an office, so that'll bring us up. But overall, we're pretty much ahead, and Tom keeps a very good spreadsheet, so we're watching things. So. Uh, other than that, I think there really isn't too much more to report. There's a lot of detail in here. If anybody has any specific questions, I'll be glad to answer it. If not, um, that ends any comments I might have. Is, so is the capital budget part of the part of the consent agenda? That yeah, both of there? them. Okay, I did have a, one question on 7,400 on the capital budget, item line 7,400. Or there's a big difference. Is it in April or in? Uh, uh, this would be April. Line 7400? Yeah, or a facility lease? Um, yes. There's a, I was just curious, there's a big difference between March and April of, you know, I don't know what, 80% or something. Oh, what happened is uh, some somebody. And, uh, that kind of was what happened in that particular month okay. in terms of it. And then. If you see the next ones, you'll see us drop down a little because some of the offices came out. But that was due to an advance payment in the way it was booked. And then one other thing on the balance. Oh, oh uh, wait, 7400 yeah. you're talking about the, um, that's, that's the expenditures. That's what yeah. we pay. Yeah. Um, that's our lease payments. Right. So, so she did two payments in one month. Is that right? For March and April? Yeah, that's probably. W weren't yeah. there some uh, ca there capital some improvements or something like that? There no, that wouldn't be a lease. Doesn't that fall under the lease? Yes, it does. Could okay. Yeah. yeah. Just, what would you think that was? Then? That That's my guess. Is I, yeah. I know there was a discussion about um, some lease improvements that um, we need to pay for. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I think we talked about it a couple meetings ago, and we approved that. Okay. That was for Just improvements. Curious. And you had another question. Um, yeah, and then on the balance sheet, um, it looks like we put $200,000 in savings from April to May. First, in, in April, I think we had 848000 in checking, which just seems like a lot, and about 100000 in savings. And then the next month, it went down. I was just wondering if that's what happened and if do we normally keep that much in checking? Okay, I see right here that's line uh, 1075. 1075. Let's go to the next one. 
Yeah. Tom, I didn't do too good in the last answer. Why don't you try? <laughs> um, and then in May, it, yeah. the yes, checking yes. drops down mm -hmm. some and savings goes up, which you know makes sense. Um, but is the cash flow such yeah, that we no. normally? No. Yeah, I, I think it was moved from. I think the money was moved from. Uh, to finally closed out one of the okay. accounts. Would you like me to tell you? We have some clarification yes. yeah. from our uh, former chair former emeritus. I didn't turn on the mic. Let me turn on the mic. And I'll okay. Why don't you call for him to ask, answer the question? Oh, yes. Would, um, would uh, chair emeritus uh, Keith Gudger please? <laughs> so the was first also one you asked about the expenditure. Yeah. Right. And that expenditure, I believe, was uh, reconciling the triple net from the previous year. You remember, we, that's what yeah. Matola is saying, we approved spending mm -hmm. the money to reconcile the triple net from the previous year. And then the second one was about the just savings the, and checking, oh, checking savings. We closed out an account that, the, the that had been at community, community yeah. credit yeah. and yeah. moved it over into our Okay, that's our kind of what I thought. Okay. I wondered, except that it's, the, it's still a it's listed on the line as still the same bank. Maybe that just needs to be corrected. Vice Chair Andy, do you have a question? Yeah, I'm, I, um, Keith, don't go away because I need to have a repeat of the beginning because I didn't get it for, to, for the minutes. For the minutes. You need what? So that line 74 about the facility lease. 7400. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see line 7400. Oh, it, okay. it was the one. The it's difference the lease in the lease improvement. It's right. Facility yeah. lease. Right. And that's the improvements were part of the triple net uh, right. facilitation. Was that like security system and air conditioning or something like that? Or? There was some air conditioning. There were landscaping. Mm -hmm. There was the uh, garbage thing in back where the from the other side so people could steal from it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a wall, it was an enclosure. Yeah. They, so those are all improvements. Well, I don't think I want to comment. Okay. <laughs> okay. But isn't that what we talked about a couple months ago? Yes. Ago and, and we approved that, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So I think that's what that's I'm going to say in a minute. So that was based is, on... I don't mean to be nitpicky, but... No, 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 this no. is good. Yeah, because good. actually it, 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 it stimulates a little brain cells to remember <laughs> what we actually right. talked about. So actually, you can, if you go between the two on your second question, you can see the money moving it's just the banks are still the same because you go from 848 and the other right. one is 300 so because yeah the community credit union accounts are all they're, they're zero down they're, they're zero, zero down. down yeah, yeah. Uh, i think it was just moved from the checking to the savings yeah, yeah. to get an extra to get a point two three percent interest or something <laughs> like that. no that's right i remember that she mentioned that they were giving a pretty good rate but that was for the cd and then mm -hmm. they moved into the cd for that yeah, okay. okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can stay um, if you want. No. <laughs> um, were there any other questions, comments? That's it. Okay. Uh, well, I'll entertain a motion on the consent agenda. Well, I would move um, that we approve the consent agenda. With the, the minutes uh, With the, the minutes amended, as corrected. As um, specified. Yeah, on um, that changing to on for item number 10 for the April 22nd minutes. Great. We have a motion from Director Lanier. Is there a second? Second. We have a second from Director O'Driscoll. Uh, we'll I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Hearing none, that carries unanimously. Okay. So um, I think we will skip item eight, which is the oral report of the executive director, unless somebody wants to, um, does anybody, anybody have a good We'll right. just move it to later in the yes. meeting. We'll move yes. it to, we'll move it, She's uh, on her way. So we'll move Traffic. to item number nine, which is to adopt the, um, or adopt or accept, I said adopt, recommended mission and vision statements from the Ad Hoc Strategic Planning Committee. And um, rather than add them as a separate document, since they were fairly brief, um, uh, I just included them in the agenda. So the mission statement is uh, community television provides tools, training, and programming to foster dialogue civic engagement and self-expression through television, the internet, and other digital media. And the vision sta uh, statement, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words, did I count that right? Uh, is to empower our community to thrive in a digital world. Um, do we have any comments or questions on that? Um, the one thing I would just say for clarification on the mission, 
yeah, this the, year. It is. Um, the, the only change is adding the words provides tools, training, and programming to. Right. Um, so all the rest of that is our existing mission statement. Which is on our, our home page of the uh, community TV website. And, um, and I, I don't know, do, uh, any comments or questions on that? Uh, yes? I like, like the home. vision statement. It's to the point. Mm. 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 A point. <laughs> um, and in terms of providing tools, training, and programming on the mission statement, I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, it, it seems to focus, you know, laser in on exactly what we're doing rather than, uh, you know, being more general in terms of yeah, specific. running um, retreats for people out in the woods and, uh, you know, to help them uh, empower their self expression. You know. And I think that was the thinking of the strategic uh, planning committee when they um, came up with that. Great. Okay. Any uh, further comments or uh, questions? Seeing none. All right. Um, I'll entertain a motion to move approval. All right. We have a motion from um, Director Manheim. Is there a second? I'll second it. All right. A second from Director, Director Lanier. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, carries unanimously. All right, seeing um, our executive director, Becca, has arrived, we can move back one to item number eight. Are you prepared uh, or should we? Good to go. All right, good to go. <laughs> All right, hardly even breathing heavily. Uh, she, she, had, she, had tr she had plenty of time to, to rehearse in the, in the, the store. In the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Thank you for. Uh, Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, no worries. It's the summer. It is. <laughs> you could have biked in like um, Director Lanier and, well, and that'd probably be have faster. And, 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 oh, we have two two bicyclists. Right. I have a flat tire. Otherwise, I would have been. The <laughs> I'll third, like to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, I've got I've got a report for you that actually spans two months since we didn't meet in May, uh, but it it is. Uh, um, well, here it is. The co-working center was just under profit by a couple hundred dollars in both uh, May and June. And I looked back at uh, previous, well, the previous year. <laughs> and, um, uh, the first year we really you know, can't count that because we started in April. So uh, the second year we, di we did make more and we were in profit in May and June. So I'm not certain uh, the interesting thing is we have more members, but we have and we're filling up the cafe space and the offices are down So we actually have more people coming in, but they're paying less money. So mm -hmm. it's uh, Good and bad. I think it'll I think it'll level out and um, I'm looking at You know just data points to see what if there's anything we can do or if, if it'll just um, mellow out on its own But I'll keep you posted um, we are still in profit for the year, though, because we did really well at the beginning of the year. So we are not under, um, we're not under, we are uh, where we should be, beyond where we expected. Uh, question, when you say in profit, you're saying over our lease costs, or are you talking about our projected budget? Our projected budget. Okay. We're over what we expected to make this year. Okay. And this is the end of the year. So this is uh, June, this is it. Right. And we made yeah. more than we projected, so that is good. And it would have been, it could have been better, <laughs> but um, but we still made more than we expected. So we covered our expenses this year, which is what we strive to do. Um, we filled an office this month, so that will make things better next month. And uh, next month we start over, so we have a clean slate now. Um, we did a ton of meetings, as we usually do at this time of year. We did, it, I, I, I approximated because I was waiting for final numbers, but I can tell you that we did 19 in May and 24 in June. So that's, that's tons of meetings. Mm -hmm. And um, also most of the, like half of those are captioned. So that's good for us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we had, uh, for a while, uh, CTV was providing services to CMAP while we're losing a key person. And Victor's been doing most of that work. Some of it's been done by Lynn. And so um, we're handing, we've handed it back, we had a meeting and handed over everything. So CMAP has a really good person in charge, a really experienced person, so knows the lingo, <laughs> really understood what was to be done and had been doing it in Oregon for about 10 years. So it was good. 
um, uh, and uh, they're stable and we earned a little bit of money doing that work for them and uh, Victor is really happy to hand it off. <laughs> so um, he's been doing an excellent job of bringing things. Some things were not up to speed to begin with and he corrected a lot of things that should have been happening that weren't and then maintained things mm -hmm. over time and was really good about just checking in on the new guy and making sure he wasn't missing anything and he caught some things. So and Victor's been really great. And I'm, I'm really happy with the work that he has done on this project and it was nice of him to do it because <laughs> it was extra for sure. Mm -hmm. um, under equipment and facilities, we did our annual insurance review in May. We do it every year. It's just really a big nightmare. Mm -hmm. But um, we added a couple of policies this year. Last year we did a huge thing. We changed over. We changed companies. We changed brokers. We got better insurance in a couple of areas where we were lacking and um, this year we've added two extra things. One is, they're both cyber policies and um, one is to protect us from third party exposure. So if we're working with another party and they get access to our data and something happens to it once they have it, <laughs> if they don't have, we have really high security. And so, and we don't keep much online. We don't keep anything online here. Our stuff all goes to this big, very, very secure vault, the most secure. And, uh, but just in case someone else has it and then something could happen, we have a little insurance for that. Well, we have a lot of insurance for that, just in case, because we keep a lot of, we don't keep anything, but it passes through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we also got uh, an extra bit of protection for our employee data, because we don't put, like, I have a file cabinet. Everything about our employees is in there, and it's locked, and it's in a locked room. But we do payroll on um, QuickBooks, so mm -hmm. some information is someplace, and it's not stored, and it's only partial numbers, but it makes me worry. So we've got special insurance for that, should any of their data be compromised. Um, on the building, we are waiting for fiber still. There is, we got, apparently PG&E reviewed our permit and found that part of it was okie dokie and part of it wasn't. So they started the approval process again on the part that they didn't like. So now it looks like September and I don't, I don't know if we have any clout to get into, anyone can intercede or anything. We just get reports from, there is somebody there at Comcast who's very good about updating me every month, but we never get anywhere. So it's- uh, Comcast or at and It's Comcast. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. So who's our permit with? Do well, we, the who? permit Comcast is trying to get is with PG&E. Oh. To be and on they, their polls. Yeah. Uh, Some so of the joint to stream committee. the fiber on their calls. Yeah, I yeah. See. it's probably okay. the corner is, so they have to get here, mm -hmm. oh, and that's okay. probably the deal. So, so then PG&E reviewed it and said part was okay, but part was not for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, for whatever yeah. reason, and okay. it's taken them months to review that part. Huh. We should have had this in January, so we've been, that's what they promised, that we signed up like way <laughs> <laughs> like in October, wow. and they said, oh, January, and now it's, you know, June, so we're, I, I you know, it's PG&E, I guess, is the bottleneck, and I don't think there's anything we can do about that, but I'll just keep you posted, mm. we'll keep trying. Maybe we could beg on air. Yes, we could. <laughs> we could do a whole, we could invite them in, uh, perhaps an interview, <laughs> how you get a permit. <laughs> now, is, is this through what they call the Joint Poll Committee, or is it just PG? Well, they haven't revealed to me exactly who's reviewing it. I just get a little chart, and it says permit, permit, no permit. Did they and say what part was good and what part was bad? They didn't tell me. I could ask. Oh, why don't you, just out of curiosity. Okay. But am I right that this is Comcast's application with pg e not any application we file? No, we're not doing anything. We we've, we've wanted to get fiber from them They're and just, they have to, to service through Comcast. Comcast needs to pull Yeah, and I guess we fiber. are the first to do this in this area. Mm -hmm. So they didn't they weren't prepared. They couldn't just hook us up. They didn't have the wherewithal. If we could make a case that it's a public safety issue, then we could get the sheriff to go down and, and have a word with them maybe. <laughs> so this fiber is is coming from Comcast. It's not like Cruzeo's. No, Cruzeo doesn't doing. come across a river. Otherwise, we would have gone with them. But we they don't go this side of the river. Mm. So that's why Comcast. Mm. Okay. Now it's sad but true. Mm. So under communications, we did. Um, 
we're doing First Fridays and people are really enjoying them and the artists really like this and uh, Ian's done a really good job of coordinating these things. We had, a, we had one, in well, one in May and one in June and they're really, uh, they've been well attended and we're really happy with, uh, with what comes out of those. Mostly we just get a lot of different people in that we wouldn't mm -hmm. normally mm -hmm. have come by and they, they get to see the RSVP and they also get to play around with um, uh, virtual reality in here. So they get to see the studio, even though they're not coming here to do television, but it kind of sparks their imagination. Mm -hmm. They can see the lights and the cameras are here. And so it, it is a, um, it is a, it's a fun thing for us, and we see lots of people, and Ian does a great job. And that, that's my report. You know? Not a lot going on in the summer. Right. Thank you, Becca. Any further comments, questions? No, I'm, I'm just very happy to hear that when people come to see TV, they see the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's things to learn. Yeah, come toward the light. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, uh, move on then uh, to back to item number 10. Um, I don't know if we have much to report. Uh, summaries of board retreat subcommittees. Has there been any further uh, okay. from the libraries? Um, anybody else? Um, I keep... Every time I run into somebody involved with a venue, I keep trying to, to sell them on our, our thing, but I think I need to start aiming higher. You know, I spoke to somebody at Cabrillo College who uh, manages the Sapathy venue, and they're like, we have no budget. So I think I need to start trying to talk to some direct, you know, some, uh, some of the trustees at, at Cabrillo mm -hmm. College. If they start, you know, shaking the tree, then I'm, I'm sure some, some yeah, money will. Yeah, we're perfect won't. if they don't have a budget. We can help them with that. I, I, I tried to sell them on that, but I'm not as, I'm not as persuasive as you are, uh, apparently. <laughs> I think at some point, I know one of the board members, we can invite a couple of the board members to come. I think that would be about as high as you could get. And the yeah. new president, I have no, I, I mean, I've just seen him. He seems very personable and it seems to be eager to do different things. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a different attitude there. But I'll talk, I'll see one of the board members later in the week and chat with him. Yeah, I think it's a shame because they have this beautiful, beautiful facility there, and and you know, no no video, no built-in. Bless you. Um, all right. Well, um, so uh, if that's all we have for that, um, we can move on to the uh, item number eleven, which is the oral report from the voluntary advisory. I want to go back to the, uh, the oh, yes. subcommittees because remember, okay. one of the committees was doing the RSVP. Oh yes. Do we have Very some? Successful. We have, oh, it has been People okay. Please. Love that. All right, that's uh, our, our shining um, success. Oh, absolutely, and Keith Gutscher worked really hard on that. And uh, I remember that one of the engineers from the new radio station, KSQD, came by. She just fell off her chair almost. Mm. She just thought it was so amazing. Excellent. So, you know, it's... And, and our director, who is doing the directing right now, um, Linda Janakos, she loves it. She's done already interviews with people for her program, and she just can't get enough of it. So Fantastic. Without having to get six different crew members together I, into, I the, into the studio? We've had producers use it for, for yeah. short interviews, too, mm -hmm. for their shows, and they were really, they, they said one said different. it was the easiest production he ever did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> really, <laughs> really thrilled with it, and he said, who built this for you? <laughs> 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 so it's a well, little it's an electrical that, engineer. All right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very qualified individual, yes. With an MBA, too. Right? Um, that's, Sorry. That is well, good. Uh, a, a, a big success out of uh, our, our last year's uh, um, board retreat. So, uh, with many hours, and we came up with the idea, and, and many hours of sweat equity put in by um, Keith. Keith, yes. <laughs> so. um, great. Well, who knows? Maybe we can. Uh, Expand that and start setting them up in, in CVS pharmacies around the <laughs> time. You know, get your prescription filled and awesome. you know. we That's can right. videotape your blood pressure test. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well, anything else under uh, item no. number 10. 10? Okay. All right. So we can move on. Uh, our right. wearing number of hats, the, uh, the chair of our VAC is sitting next to me here. Would you have sure. anything to report? Mm -hmm. I will. Um, so we had a studio camera class, and one of our students is here uh, on camera three. Uh, a couple of them have done their, as you know, you know, people take the class, but we don't want to say, okay, you take the class, now you need to know everything. Mm -hmm. So they get to what we call shadow, which actually means they're on the camera, 
and somebody else is right there next to them in case they have any questions. And so uh, actually this last uh, cycle, this last class, uh, really got us a couple of really good people that already done their, their, their shadowing and they're ready for producers to use on their, on their show. So I'm happy with that. Um, but you know, hopefully when our strategic plan is done, uh, we're going to you know, put some more emphasis on, on getting um, uh, volunteer leaders and, and expand on what we're doing. Because right now it's funneled into a few people and you can't overload the same people the whole time. Mm. But other than that, um, one of our producers is now producing two programs and um, he's doing both Voices from the Village and his own program, uh, BTS, and uh, seems to be very happy with that. Uh, and manning, you know, two crews and, and, and two different people and all the same night. So I was there and it was, it was quite a success. I thought it was very well done. So Is it um, were back to back productions? Yeah, he well? did back to back productions. Wow. On one one evening from five to you know, I mean they started at six and at seven o'clock it was live for the second program. Yeah. It was it was very interesting to see and, and you know, and I'm glad that both programs continue to be strong programs for us. Fantastic. So other than that, uh, we will be doing some more uh, classes uh, in the next few months. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So that, that was item number 11. Let's move on to item 12. Oh, oh and of course, yes? don't forget about the PSA. The day. PSA day. Yeah, we yes. just had a very successful one on, on Friday. Oh, nice. Uh, Keith and, and Karen and crew, uh, you know, continue doing that. It's, it's a, great, a great support for our nonprofits in, in Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. Santa Cruz County, to come, pay a little bit of money, and get this great... High quality... Yeah. PSA, that know. is on our on our channels, and then also people use it for Online, their websites. Their websites. Yeah. yeah. One one quick question: It's yeah. easy to have ideas because somebody else always does the work. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I wonder at our next meeting if a couple of the PSAs we couldn't put them up oh. just to just to show people because if they by some chance watch our meeting. Mm -hmm. It kind of reinforces the message. I mean, uh -huh. me talking is great, but I don't think it has the impact of some of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I'd love I to see some. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just a thought. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. Um, well, item number 12 is uh, the oral report of the board chair. Um, past couple of months was focusing mostly on facilitating getting our contract um, signed, a lot of back and forth, and um, Becca. Uh, Great work on that. I appreciate Director Mannheim for doing his fine uh, wordsmithing and, and editing. And um, we have a contract. It's a two-year, four, four-year contract, right? Or a three-year with a one-year extension or something like that. Or but, I think it's a four-year, yeah. as far as I understand it. So uh, we won't have to worry about it for a while. And and um, um, seems like everybody's happy. Well, that's so. the longest contract we've had in a long time. I, I think so. it's a real yeah. vote of confidence yeah, and yeah. kind of just the volunteers and the staff and everybody here. We're all working hard mm -hmm. trying to make something work. Mm -hmm. right. um, so um, I guess the next order of business for me would be to organize a, a, a board retreat in August if, if folks are going to be around. And okay. We can get together. I, I was dreaming of like a Silomar or 1440, <laughs> but uh, you can't afford that. We had a little thin profit. How about uh, how about on the um, uh, on the uh, O'Neill, not the O'Neill, but the, oh, the, the Chardonnay, the Chardonnay. Oh, the Chardonnay. Uh, can we have a board? Can we rent that for a day? No. Uh, you, if it's possible to use your clubhouse again, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds it's quite nice. nice. We can bring some cookies and doable. bagels. And <laughs> <laughs> Just not in August, because. There's not a lot of people around in Santa mm. Cruz in August. I'm maybe it's thinking October when kind of people are reacquainting themselves yeah. with their after the summer. After okay. the summer, and you got the September. Just a thought. I'm well, the retreat is just with board members. Yeah, I know, but yeah. people can be places too. I don't mm. know. I, well, you're going to poll, so you'll see what you find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll 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 figure it out. Um, we don't have to do it right now. Um, I I will mention that um, on vacation, uh, hopefully. I actually haven't had it approved yet by my day job employers, but um, uh, I have reservations at our next board meeting. So um, uh, Vice Chair Rand has agreed to chair. Without reservation. Without reservation. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but uh, and hopefully I'll come back refreshed and with lots of energy uh, raring to go and further our mission here as much as I can. Um, so th that's my report. Um, uh, we can move on, unless anybody has any questions or comments on that, we can move on to item number 13, which is uh, board member staff requests for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. We have uh, a request for some PSAs to be displayed. Also, I think the um, uh, strategic plan All right. will be coming back. Okay. We'll, we'll be ready to bring it back next month. Sorry, I'm going to miss that. Be there. Oh, no. We, could, we could delay it, but um, we actually are meeting, um, I guess, Friday. this Friday yeah. um, to hopefully finalize it. Well, if I'm somewhere with internet access, I can watch the meeting online and... Uh, During um, your vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll make we'll it a short meeting. <laughs> I'll be happy to watch it. Um, but, um, yeah, that sounds great. I'll be happy to add that to the agenda. And, and uh, perhaps just a quick heads up to the board members. Our hope is that everybody will actually have a chance before the meeting to read through it and go over it. It's, right. There's been a lot of work put into it, both by uh, the board members who are on the committee as well as a couple of ex-board members who are on the committee. So, um, and I think good progress. Excellent. You would like a, uh, a good review so we have a lively conversation. Yeah. Yes. And great new ideas. Okay, good. And if I can make a suggestion, I think a, a really attractive cover the report. <laughs> to, 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 to toot my own horn, I, I was thinking of a like half-hour uh, PowerPoint presentation. Oh, okay. There we go. With I, videos. I thought you were going to do some song and dance. <laughs> Top hat, tails, yes. A musical number. Okay. Um, well, we'll look forward to seeing the strategic plan that has been um, labored over for these months and is finally ready for uh, delivery and um, and rearing and close to nine months, but not quite. <laughs> we can start the college fund now. And, yeah. and, um, uh, great. So uh, that is item number 13. Uh, we'll move on to item number 14, which is announcements. Um, uh, if the board has no... Anybody have announcements? Okay. I would like to uh, thank our all-volunteer crew tonight um, who have made this uh, telecast possible, uh, cablecast. It's Phil Harmonic, Patrick Delaney, our, our uh, newest camera person, Richard Dussel, Karen Scott, Linda Janakis, and Keith Gudger. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. Um, so we do have item number 15, which is a closed session. Um, the topic is property negotiations. Um, we're going to end the uh, live teleca uh, cable cast here. And um, if we have anything to report at the closed session, that will be in our minutes for the next meeting, correct? So um, we'll just do an adjournment right now? Um, I, no, I mean, we have to move to closed session, right? And then yeah. we'll adjourn after that, right? right? So right. I will thank our crew and say good night to uh, any of our audience who are watching. Thank you very much.